You got something different Baby, I can feel it Try not to get caught up In all my feelings Damn it, I can't help it I know that you're special, but If I got the chance with you, it'd be a blessing Got a thing for you, baby, you know So many feelings that I just can't control This feel is too good to me What it do, all your family? Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. You dig? An update video slash mukbang, mukbang, whatever you call it, whatever you say. We're gonna eat pizza. There you go. This one's mine. And then this one's mommy's. Okay. But yeah, like she was saying, it's an update slash mukbang, mukbang, however y'all pronounce it. <laughs> but um, yeah, we just gonna, you know, just talk, chill, be us. Give y'all an update um, you know, where we at with it today. Yeah. The last video we posted, I was pregnant. She's not no more. No, <laughs> Bro, I feel like I'm nervous on this motherfucker. Damn, it's been that long on YouTube? Been on um, two months. Two Bro, months. we posted since December. Mm-hmm. Mm. Three months. And we got a little tail with us. Oh, she got her ears pierced yesterday. That's a whole nother video. If you want to see that video, subscribe to my channel. My channel is Mommy and Us. I'll put the link below for you guys to go and <clears throat> click on it and subscribe. And if you guys are not subscribed, subscribe to us. Turn on post notifications. So y'all know when they post. You dig. Damn, her pizza burnt. I think all I've burned. No, I don't have mine. A little bit. But not like y'all do this one, not great. What should we start with? Let's start with what I went through while pregnant with the baby. And then we haven't revealed his name yet. But if you guys get this video to 2,000 2, likes, views. 2, We're going to start off small first. We're going to 2,000 views. 2,000 views, we will reveal his name and do the name reveal. But when I was pregnant him, I was 32 weeks last time we posted. And literally, after that ultrasound we posted, I went in labor a month later. And I wasn't even supposed to go in labor. I was 32 weeks pregnant. I was having or thought I was having Braxton Hicks. No, they were contractions, real life contractions. Oh. We went to the hospital the first time. So look, this is the first time. It was having them. Exactly it was too. around like 3 a.m. We were just chilling, watching the movie. I was like, I mean, what did I say? I was like, I'm in pain or something. Then that's when I started having contractions. Went to the hospital. Was there overnight for like two days? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. Okay. They gave me magnesium, stopped everything. Well, got us. Well, it slowed it down. It we never really down. stopped. It slowed it down. Oh, true. Because when we got sent home, I was still having them. Went back to the hospital. Still 32 weeks. Went back to the hospital a day or two later. So we went to the hospital Friday. We left Sunday. We went right back Monday for the second time. And then when we went back the second time. No, actually. We went back the second time because we had a follow-up specialist ultrasound. Then they sent us to the hospital because I was having contractions literally during my ultrasound. Then went to the hospital. Contractions, they did the same thing with the medicines. Did not stop, did not slow down. Kept coming every two minutes. More painful and more stronger. Let me tell y'all, for the women that are pregnant now, and dealing with brass and hicks contractions, that stuff is. Tough. I felt so bad because I couldn't help her. Like it looked like it was painful. And then he was born. Wait, wait. <laughs> Let me tell y'all my part. My oh, half. Tell it. So that was her. That was her half. It was on my half. So, like she said, we was chilling one night. I fell asleep at like what. 10 that night and I woke mm -hmm. up and like, I randomly woke up something told me to wake up 
So I woke up, and as soon as I woke up, she was like, it's painful, like, we gotta go now, like, so we got dressed, we went, and I'm nervous, I'm thinking like, I'm nervous and excited at the same time, because I'm thinking, if he born tonight, like, will he make it, oh my God, like, but I'm also thinking like, I want him to be born early, because I want to see him, I can't wait to meet him, we did like three, four ultrasounds already, so I was already super hyped, I couldn't wait to meet him. So we get there and they telling us, yeah, the way it's looking, you gonna have them tonight, all this, all this. Our first night there. So I'm in there just kind of like scared. But like I said, excited at the same time. Um, Yeah, so they, by like our third day, they end up uh, slowing the contractions down. So they sent us home, like she was still having them. But um, the doctor said they like back to back then to come back. But they like, if she have one here every like now and then, it's okay. So she started having them like eight minutes apart again, five minutes apart. Then we went to, um, we had an appointment that day. Like she said, we already had an appointment that day. So at, when we got to the specialist, we were gonna tell her about the, uh, that she was still having contraction and then what would they, what do they recommend us do? They did the ultrasound, they did everything and they sent us straight. So like our specialist was like linked to a hospital right next door. So right after she got done with the uh, ultrasound, they wheeled her through the little hallway straight next door to the hospital. I had Tatum. So me and, so y'all know it's like flu season or whatever around the time. And it's still flu season right now, I think. But um, so babies 12 and older are not allowed to be back there, like in the, um, in the rooms or whatever. So I had Tatum, I had to, um, and mind you, the hospital we was at was 40 minutes away from where we live. And the one we went to the first day was like five minutes, literally right next door to our crib. And they let Tatum come up to that one. And it's the same thing, it's called Wellstar. I don't know if y'all got a Wellstar where y'all live at, but it was called Wellstar Hospital. We went to Wellstar and, um, like 30 minutes from where we live at. So basically I had to come 30 minutes back this way with Tatum. Basically, I had to find somewhere for Tatum to go. One of my family members ended up coming through. And um, by that time I ended up finding out <clears throat> where she can go. I'm on the way back to the hospital and I'm, my whole way there, something in my mind is telling me like something, something went on bro, like something happened. So with me feeling that, I pull over to uh, I just pull over to a restaurant so I can call her and check on her real quick while I'm on the way back, and also to let her know I'm on the way back. So I text her, and she matter of fact, her last text to me was, "Babe, where are you? Hurry up." When I seen that, I also knew something was up, like some some, either something went wrong or something went right, super right. And what that means was like she had him, but um, so yeah, I pulled over and I seen her message. I'm like, oh shit, baby, I'm on the way, like. You good? And it, she didn't respond, so I call her. And she didn't respond, so now I'm thinking, okay, they probably just got another room, she can't use her phone right now. And then the whole way there, I'm like, bro, something, something is up, like something is up. So I get there, as soon as I get in the, like, as soon as I get in the hospital, all the nurses already knew who I was. I guess they, I guess, oh yeah, she said she was asking for me the whole time. So as soon as I get in, it was like, Jamal, second floor, second floor, second floor, hurry up. So then I get to the second floor and all the nurses there was like, oh yeah, she's in the OR and the baby's upstairs and she's downstairs. I was like, the baby? The, she had him? I was like, what, I missed it? So yeah, I missed it. But it was probably for the best because God knows if I would've been in that delivery room, I probably would've passed out, bumped my head on something. Like something super dramatic would've happened to me. So I feel like God just blocked that whole thing out, but yeah. I remember walking to the to the uh, NICU where they had him at. And babe, you can tell about the NICU part. You know, like why he was in the NICU. Oh yeah, she did say he was born at 32 weeks. Yeah, mainly because he was a preemie. And um, he his, um, everything wasn't like developed at 32 weeks. Like everything important was developed. It was just the last step was his, um, his lungs. The lungs. So when he got sent to the NICU, they put him on a breathing thing, a mask over his face. We'll, you guys will see that in our birth vlog. We haven't uploaded it yet. Um, so yeah, but he was in the NICU for three weeks. I was in the hospital for six days. You got him? He's in the background. Hi. I just made, I just warmed up his bottle, so give me a sec. It's all right. Um, But yeah, he was in the NICU, which is, um, for y'all who don't know what that is, it stands for Neoternal, Neoternal I Intensive Care Unit. Care unit. Yeah. And I guess Neoternal is something for the babies or something, I don't know. 
I'm a first time dad, y'all. I'm figuring this out as we go. But yeah. I got there, I seen him, I walked in the room, and I, I just remember like my heart just thumping like. I seen him, I was like, oh my God, that's my son. And it was just crazy. What's wrong, mama? Mm -hmm. All right, so y'all wanna know, here goes some few fun facts about baby blank. Baby boy. Baby boy. <laughs> How much did he weigh, babe? He weighed. Three pounds and fifteen ounces at birth. How Three long? pounds. How long was you? Seventeen inches. Okay. He was so small. He was. Any? How was his progress in the NICU? He did actually really good. Yeah. Like no complications. Did Only that? complication was just being born early. Yeah, that was really it. The doctor said he was like the biggest premature baby they ever seen. He had like a new progression every day. Like the first day, like you said, they had the breathing helmet on him. I think like the next day or the second day there, they took that off. He just had a feeding tube in his nose. Yeah. And then when did they take the feeding tube? Oh, he learned until, how to drink the bottle. Until he w learned how to do. Um, the last step was to see if he could bottle feed or breastfeed, and he did both really good. He's currently is breastfeeding. I put him on the breast every now and then. Otherwise, I'll put the breast milk in a bottle or from formula also with the breast milk. But he does both really good. And I was so scared that Tatum didn't latch on. I thought baby boy wouldn't latch on. So I was scared. And then when he latched on, I was like surprised and I was happy. He knew what he was doing. With the last step with him learning how to bottle feed, what they was trying to test for or like look for was to see if he could still like breathe while still like you know sucking the, um, the bottle or sucking the milk out of the bottle to see if he could mm -hmm. still breathe while he was doing it. He did that successfully. And then he started off with like a small feeding. I think they were only feeding him, I forgot the dosages they were giving him, but like he started off small and every day it went up and he got to his maximum feed and he drank a whole bottle. And that's when we was able to take him home from the NICU. So he stayed in there for three weeks. He did like, he yeah. made hella progress each week, each day. Yeah. He came home February 20th. Yeah. He was born January 27th. So yeah, came home on the 20th of February. <laughs> and since he's been home, it's been great. Like not one complication, not one emergency scare or nothing. Like he's been doing great. And then we had an in-home nurse come to check on him. Twice. Two times he was doing, he did good. He has actually um, an appointment coming up. His first, not his first appointment, it'll be like his second appointment. But he's been doing good so far. You guys will see him very soon. Yep. Probably when we do the name reveal, you guys will see him. Yeah, he's chilling right behind the camera right now. You feel me? Looking so yeah. amazing, yeah. handsome, all that. Just want to bring up the thing that's going around the world today, the corona, whatever you guys want to call it. The corona virus. We just want everyone <clears throat> to be safe, stay in the house. As much as you can. If you don't got to leave, don't leave. But if you got to, try your best. We leave when we need to, like for the kids' appointments or the store, food. Oh. Or or anything like that. So that's what we want to say Dang. about the corona. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Corona. Corona. <laughs> <laughs> we have a two-year-old in the back whining. Oh, yeah, that's the next thing I'm about to say. We got kids, so we stay extra clean, extra safe. We hand we hand sanitizing, we clogs wiping everything. But and yeah. I'm a, I I have OCD so I'm always cleaning. Yeah she been cleaning up cleaning super clean anyway so we just extra on top of it. But it's been a while since we posted we're gonna get back to posting we're gonna be consistent we're gonna come up with a whole new schedule on what to post or like what days to post you guys send us ideas what to post like challenges vlogs all that we, we, we come in. <laughs> but yeah she ordered some more equipment for the shit too so we finna really be back on y'all niggas heads oh. our channel our family channel and his channel <laughs> <laughs> but all right y'all i hope y'all enjoyed this video and y'all like we said stay safe stay blessed oh and yo we out